Hello everyone, welcome to Offensive Security Series by Beaver Academy. I hope you all doing well. I am extremely excited to meet you all and present another interesting video. In the past, I have demonstrated how to create an image payload, but it was flagged and removed. So thought to recreate a tutorial on how to create an image payload and I have prepared this new video. Today I will demonstrate how to create image payload like a hacker. This ethical hacking video will provide you with a valuable insight into payload creation and guide you to the best practices to enhance your knowledge in this area. Without further ado, let's jump into right into video. Disclaimer. This video is purely for education and information purpose. It is not intended to encourage any malicious or harmful activity. I am not responsible for any misuse or damage resulting from the information shared in this video. You are solely responsible for your action and will use this knowledge responsibly and ethically. Please note that unauthorization hacking or accessing other system or network is strictly prohibited and illegal. Even if this video demonstration ethical hacking practice on my own devices. The plan is very straightforward. So first what we are going to do is we are just going to create a one payload. Okay. So this payload uh, is a PowerShell script. So once this PowerShell what is actually do is it's uh, it will download the image from the web and also it will download the uh, exe file. Okay. So it will be look like a PNG or JPEG in our example I am just using a PNG file. So when the victim actually clicks this one so it will go into download image and exe and it going to save this file in the temp directory okay and once the file is temp directory is saved over there it will open the image for the user or the victim okay just display that image and uh, this executable also open a backdoor for the hacker okay this is what going to happen this entity this this entire process this entire process will be completely hidden from the user so all just user feel this he'll be clicking that but uh, post that everything whatever has happened in the background this red color everything is in the background and it is not visible to the user only thing is when he click this one it will open the image display it over there once when we executing uh, you will get a more idea about it but this is a plan of it so we'll go and start executing or we'll start creating a powershell one so to do that we just let's go to the powershell so first of all we start uh, in the stage i'll just separated this video into a stage by stage wise first of all what we'll do is we'll try to download a image and see whether image is opening or not once the image is successful then we will try to put a exe and we will in the stage 3 we'll convert the script into exe and in the stage 4 we will convert uh, basically we'll do a file extensions pooping over there so now we will go and see the first stage one so stage one is we going to uh, create a simple powershell script to download and save it and it's going to uh, execute it over there uh, so first of all uh, to do that first of all let me declare the image url so we have to uh, declare the image url so we are telling the machine or we are telling the script where you have to download this file this is a file i'm i'm just going to uh, download it so let me go and copy paste it here so we just declared that image so when there is when we are whenever we are going to use a image url so this is going to be downloaded so why we are doing is instead of every time we just going to be using this this one we just making the code very simple we just starting the declaring the values so that it it makes the coding simpler and also it's a uh, whenever suppose we make an error or something else it's easy to identify and it will give not give a more complication as well so i have created a image your first just so this is where you need to do it need to save it in the temporary directory so i'm just going to call as a temp direct okay and uh, the environment is uh, we just need to give environment is temporary okay so we have declared it so this file it need to download and save it on here okay this is the one and we just now going to say that where you need to save this file and what file name he has to give it so to do that i'm just going to again declare it image path image file path okay is equal to join 
path uh, and uh, path i'm just giving it and uh, temporary directory you need to download on the temporary directory okay that is what we declared here right so it need to be turned on uh, when we have declared it then we go and give a child path basically we want to what the file name should be so in this case we are just going to say name image sorry sorry image dot jpg okay and uh, so this is one done it so now we will we once this is done so we have to give an instruction that powershell scripted to, to download the image from the image url so okay so the actual work is happening here only so evoke the command is evoke hyphen web request okay uri is equal to the one we are because so the image url that is what we have to do the dollar image url this is where so we are telling this one open a powershell script execute and download this url okay, that's what we are declaring and uh, we are telling that you have to save this file where we have to save this file output right so we are telling that output file should be directly this one image file path we have to give this one okay, this is a complete path we have to give so dollar image file path okay so we have given successfully done so now once the file is now file is downloaded everything under that so now we have to tell the machine powershell script uh, once it is done just we you have to launch this one so just ensure every letter whatever you are just using the same one otherwise it will not work so case whatever the case sensitives and just be cautious on that part okay so now what we will do is uh, let's go and evoke so basically this command will once it download it will open the item okay evoke item and the file what need to do is it's from the image path okay that is what we have to say image file path okay so now what we will do is we will go and test it so if you see that uh, this is a temporary directory i had just opened it there is no image file is there nothing is there so let me try to execute and see uh, as technically sees that it should download the image a file this image from here this url and it should save as a image.jpg once it is stored it it should open the file so let's see whether we are able to execute successfully or not so to run it just run the script and uh, we'll run the script and yes i can see that the file is downloaded and file is opening over there so stage one is completely successful now only thing is we need to go and just copy it uh, for a exe file so stage two so st just copy this one and uh, we will repaste it instead of image url we'll start giving exe url okay and uh, in my case it's a cali mission ip address i'm just i have a payload running in a cali mission so i'm just giving that one so which is 10.0.2.24 slash payload this is the one uh, and uh, same thing it's going to be save in the temporary directory there is no change in the temporary directory let it be same thing oh, here i just need to give one more thing is i just need to copy and paste it instead of image exe file path and uh, here i need to name it as file.exe okay and uh, same thing i have to just copy duplicate this line as well here i just need to use instead of image url exe url output file instead of output file i just need to show if sorry image ai file path instead of that one so i need to save exe file path okay and the the command will be for this one is different so what we have to use is start process okay so this is a starting the process of exe so dollar exe file path so now we have completed the powershell script so as i said right stage one stage two is completed now we have to go for the stage three which is uh converting the powershell script into exe so to do that i'm just going to the uh, win ps2.exe you don't need to worry i'll be giving all the tools link in the description so you can go and download it you don't need to worry about it uh, so first of all is the source file so the source file is this is a file i have saved it image.pad so if you see that just giving i'm open and if you the target file you can keep it as the same or you can create a one so in my case i'm just creating a new file which is called image payload okay 
and i'm selecting so this folder will be actually the file will be stored over there okay so icon file so i need to convert this ica file so icon file is basically what it'll do is it's a kind of icon it gives an image it look like an image one because we go join to spoop as an image one right and it, we are going to create we are creating an image payload only so to make it very realistic we need a icon file so a simple google search will take you to uh, any website for convert from uh, jpeg to ico file so you just i have already uh, converted and have downloaded so let me go and uh, let me save this one so just let me go if you see that uh, let me go to the download folder this is the ic icon file so because i'm just whatever the image you are, you are trying to do same uh, upload it and convert that as a icon file so just click op open and uh and check this check this both and this, let's start the compile so after some time this is will comply compile and uh, we will be go to the download folders if you see that okay so we can see that this image dot uh, pd file is ready if you let me make it bigger so now what i need to do is let me launch the other file so i have downloaded from the github uh, as i said earlier i'll be giving the link in the description you don't need to worry the only thing is you just need to download the folder extract it and just go below down if you are a windows user just download it and drop this executable file inside that uh, complete folder so that you can able to execute okay so now let me go and launch this one let me minimize everything so that it will be more visible i have opened the file spoofer so now i just need to click open the file and i have to go to image folder i just need to click this one executable and now i just it will take some time now if you see that the file is okay so now i want i want to spoof it so i want to spoof it as png okay and the source is exe so from here to here i just need to insert once it is done just generate it it will generate and it will convert the file into if you see that it's a png so now i have successfully converted into a, a png extension kind of thing okay so if you want to name it something else it's fine but you can get so basically this will create exe dot uh, png file so now what we'll do is let's go and launch this one before launching let me open the temporary folder as a proof of concept i just ensure that thing is has been downloaded here so what i'll do is the victim thinks this is an image file and when he or when the victim clicks this link or this this one if you see that the file is get downloaded image is also downloaded and image is loaded so in a back end uh, if you see that if i just close it i'll let me close this work in so let me retry again so when victim opens this one it looks like he just opened the image file but he doesn't know that the this file actually downloaded and along with this file there is a payload also downloaded and it executed so this is how you can create a payload one so we have successfully prepared an image payload embedded in it an image and established a backdoor connection to darket device this process is for educational purpose only and should be used responsibly and legally thank you all for joining me today in this exciting session I hope you found the content both informative and useful. If you enjoy this video and would like to see more content like this, please let me know in the comment below. Your feedback is essential for shaping the future of this channel. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated on upcoming videos. Also feel free to share this video with others who might find it useful or interesting. If you have any question or need further clarification about anything shown in this video, don't hesitate to reach out to me via discord lastly a big thank to all my subscriber and supporters your encouragement keep me motivated to create more valuable content for you stay safe stay curious see you soon with another interesting video bye for now take care